There's a ton of new food here at Disney Springs. Let's eat. I'm Jay. And I'm Sam. And you are watching the Theme Park Foodies. We are back at Disney Springs because there are a bunch of new menu items. A lot of food service restaurants, also some sit down restaurants, right? Yeah, all scattered about. Yeah, uh, they decided to change up a lot of the menus over here at Disney. And there's a lot of stuff here that we're excited about. Uh, first off, Chef Art Smith has a brand new fried chicken sandwich. It's a hot chicken art. Yes. Hot chicken. He's, he's entering the chicken sandwich wars today, apparently. Uh, Morimoto's, a sit-down restaurant, actually has a brand new menu. I don't think we'll be able to get in there. Uh, but also, Deluxe Burger, which I think their burgers are pretty good, but I like their fries a lot more. They the actually, sauces. Yeah. I'm a big fan of Beef Wellington, and they have a... Beef Wellington Burger. Yes! So are you excited for that Beef Wellington Burger, Sam? I'm not sure. I don't think I'm like on your excited, excited <laughs> level, but... Also, for October, Gideon's, uh, the, the cookie place here that is just popping. It's, it's like a, it's themed like a bookstore. It's very intricately detailed inside. They have a brand new cookie every single week for October. It's like almost a Halloween looking type of shop. So it makes sense. Uh, but unfortunately, it's a six hour wait. We are on the, the virtual queue. So we will be seeing if we're able to get that brand new Gideon's cookie for this week. Don't know what it is just yet. Yeah, we're probably gonna have to go home, come back. <laughs> what can happen in six hours? Yeah, well, there'll be a lot of traveling, but we're going to also try first to get that chicken sandwich. Also, I think Everglaze, Sam, your Swifty. They got some Swifty things going on Everglaze, yeah, right? Yeah, we actually tried. They have a donut and they have three drinks. And we actually last week when we saw the movie, we did try two of the drinks and the donut. They were very good, very sweet, pretty. Yeah. Very like very on brand for Taylor Swift. Yeah. So I'm hoping that maybe they're still around so we can try the third. Yeah. Drink if you want to see all the pictures of the um, the stuff that we got from Everglazed, uh, you check our Instagram, the underscore theme park underscore foodies. Uh, but we're gonna be going over there, seeing if they have some of the drinks we didn't get last time. You know, the Ganache has a uh, Miss Minutes chocolate. Yeah. So we'll, we'll see. We'll so see much what new food. To. Yeah. Are you ready? I'm ready. If you enjoy the content, please like and subscribe. Join us for our brand new food crawl here at Disney Springs. All right, so we got a spot at Chef Art Smith's Homecoming. For those that don't know, if you're exiting the Orange Garage, Homecoming is going to be kind of your right-hand side, tucked behind Morimoto. Now, it's very hard to get into, but you can sit at the bar, and they have the full menu here. So we're at the Sunshine Outdoor Bar, and this is Art's Hot chicken sandwich. Sam, what's in this? This is fr uh, crispy fried chicken breast tossed in buffalo style hot sauce and dressed with tangy slaw, bread and butter pickles, and a drizzle of icebox dressing. Yeah, so the picture looks like, I feel like Sam has the picture pulled up. It looks bigger in the picture. <laughs> well, well I think up. Disney Food Blog gets, um, you know. Yeah, they bread. probably get the best one, but I'm and those see barbecue those chips, are, those look good. Barbecue chips, I wonder, I wonder what this sauce is on them. Oh, like an aioli. Very crispy. All right. And I'm hoping it's not too spicy so that I can have some. Also, Jason, we haven't been here in like five years. Mm -hmm. And not because it's not good, just because there's a million other things here. It's very hard to get into. But now we know we can go to the bar. So for those who don't know, Art Smith is like a very famous Florida chef. The What's any Oprah chef? What? Wasn't he Oprah's chef? I think so. All of the um, items in the menu are, seas or, are seasonally but also locally sourced. That's a very good chicken sandwich sound. It's got the right amount of kick. It's, it's buffalo style, so it's not too hot. But what I really like are the pickles. Yeah, the tangy slaw probably cools it down. I'm and the assuming. coleslaw. And then look how thick the chicken is. I would like it a little crispier, um, but it could have been that it lost a little crisp. It actually, I see there's not a lot of crisp at all on it. There's a lot of wetness going on with it, but I dig that. Uh, I would give that a seven. And I also think we need to come back and do a full dining review on, on Art Smith, right? I really want to do the brunch. Yeah, we gotta come and do brunch. Chef Art Smith's homecoming is actually in the marketplace section, but we need to head to town center. So we're gonna head over this bridge towards Blaze. All right, we've made it to Deluxe Burger, town center, and here it is, the Beef Wellington 
burger. I think Let's I'm head gonna, inside and go get it. I think I'm gonna be getting on your hype level now. The burger looks good. All right, so here it is, the Beef Wellington Burger. It's got two pressed signature patties, crispy prosciutto, mushroom deluxes, gruyere, and horseradish aioli on a herb puff pastry bun. This bun is beautiful. This is like the prettiest bun I've ever seen. I always thought it would be encased because it's a beef Wellington. But it's a, still a burger, so it can, it's a burger version of a Wellington, so it can't be encased. I guess so. I mean, I always thought they would just encase a burger in Wellington. I wasn't on your hype level in the beginning, but I think I am now. Well, the fries are just at are amazing. We got some of their signature sauces too. All right, so you're... But like this looks really good. I tried the um, the chicken sandwich, so I feel like you got to try this out. There's cheese, patties, Oh my god, that is crispy burrito. Let's see how it is. Mm. This is a very messy boy, though. I think you're gonna really like this. Well, the puff pastry is gonna flake. A good puff it's pastry should flake. The, the pastry is delicious. The meat is really good. It's juicy. I like the Gruyere. Gruyere is like um, is in the Swiss family. I think the Gruyere and the prosciutto like elevate this burger. Like it's not a standard burger. This was $13.99, but there's two patties, and I do think like the quality is there. Messiness is definitely there too. Well, they give you a whole roll of paper towels. Yes. And we actually have a really nice view of the uh, characters in Flight Balloon going up. I'm gonna give it a nine. Wow, it's definitely beat out the chicken sandwich then. I don't know if it's the moonshine talking, but like this is <laughs> this is really good to me. With your nine. I've already had a bite out of this. I just wanted to give my take on it. He was like, you gotta get my reaction. So. It's a very elevated, I it's think. It's very easy. Elevated. The meat is really good. The aioli is really mm -hmm. good. All the components. My thing is, I think the meat's dry. There's always my issues here. Really? Issue here. Mm -hmm. Look. I guess because, I don't know, for me, there's so much aioli and stuff on it. Like it. The meat has a lot of flavor. It packs a lot of flavor in here, but they're like smash burger patties. I usually like a thick, juicy patty. So, you know, if you come here, that's what you're getting. I do like the burgers here. I think the ingredients taste very high quality. Um, and I think that everything on this is super high quality. I even think the burger's high quality. It's just, I like a different style burger. These like mass produced smash burgers. Very good. We actually have a whole video where we go over the lore of Deluxe Burger and how it intertwines itself with the story of Disney Springs. It's a very interesting restaurant. Um, I'm gonna agree with your nine, Sam. It's, it's really good. That's one of my favorite burgers that I've yeah, had I'll at come Disney back Springs. I hope they keep it. Okay, on to the ganachery. All right, so the ganachery. In the landing at Disney Springs, they have the Miss Minutes little chocolate. You actually see them make the chocolates right there in the back as you walk through to buy them. It entices you to buy it a little bit more. They have so many of these little morsels that you can buy. This one is key lime flavored. I think I misspoke before and um, said that uh, Art Smith is on the west side. I think he's considered the landing. I'll, I'll correct that somewhere in here. But all right, let's see how it is. I got two of them, so Sam could have one too. Three dollars a pop, but they're not cheap. They are always very high quality. I always feel like though the specialty ones, like when they do character ones, they're never like a flavor that I want them to be. Mm. Like I would like them to do a peanut butter one. Very citrusy. Well, they have a peanut butter Jack Skellington. I missed it. Yeah. Wait, no. Yeah, I think you made that up. Peanut butter was behind him, sorry. Um, they had a Haunted Mansion chiller drink that I really wanted, but. They always have chillers, uh, but the Haunted Mansion, well, the chillers there, are delicious. I think the weakest part about this is the Miss Minutes part. Like stuff on top. I know she wants to be Kang's girl. It's very creepy. Spoilers. I should have spoilers before that. Anyway, um, it's just, it's crunchy. And I feel like you want like a smooth chocolate, which is what's underneath it. But the key lime flavor, it's like super high quality. I'm still going to go seven for it. It's not like my favorite iteration, but I think there are better iterations of it. Of course, the Errors Tour items would be closest to AMC, we're heading over to Everglades, which is kind of tucked right uh, between Splitsville and the AMC theaters. I hope they still have them. All right, so Everglades is a bunch of Taylor Swift drinks. They have the uh, Lavender Haze oh, Lemonade. Haze. 
Uh, lav lavender glaze ha lemonade, right? Yeah, you had that last week. And I had the uh, brew of my heart, which was like a mocha cold brew with um, Oreo crumbles, which I really liked. Yeah, that sounded good. We also got the donut again, uh, which we had last time. I thought it was a little sweet, but Santa doesn't think it's too sweet. I don't think it's as sweet as some of the other donuts at Everglades. I would agree with that. Are, like overly sweet, usually they just have half. It yeah. does have ube icing on it, so I, for me it felt like it was a little less sweet. Well, this is what we didn't have last time. So this is the Crystal Suck Skies Cold Brew, which is a coconut cold brew. It has coconut milk in it and then um, a white chocolate foam, which they made blue. It looks like a little sky. Like a blue sky. Do you taste the coconut? I don't taste coconut at all in this drink. Um, I did have a coconut cold brew at Animal Kingdom yesterday at Kusafari, Kusafiri, which was like really good. Like this to me doesn't, it doesn't taste bad, but I don't like, they didn't put enough syrup in. Like it's just very, it just tastes like a regular cold brew. Mm. The foam is delicious, but the coffee itself, like, it just tastes like a regular cold brew, and I don't taste the coconut at all. But I'll give it a six. Okay. It's a Did you like the other cold brew better? Yes. The brew of my heart, I tasted the mocha, I tasted the Oreo. This one, I just think they didn't put enough syrup. Not enough coconut. Not enough the coconut syrup in it, so it's like the flavor isn't strong at all. For those that frequent Disney Springs, we are all familiar with that cigar smell that's right next to salt and straw but that cigar shop has closed down today's the first day that uh this candle shop is open we're gonna see if it still smells like cigars sam how do you say the name i want to make sure i'm saying it right bows bows yeah i don't smell any cigar smell right sam <laughs> thank god you have scents that will remind you of certain disney attractions in here i believe uh this is a scent that you can find on soren and on flight of, yeah flight of passage it kind of um thanks to smell of fiji this one clover world they also have classes where you can make your own candle. We'll have to do this one day, Sam. Maybe we'll like vlog it. Christmas is coming up and they do have some holiday scents over here that smell really good. I think Sam and I are gonna buy this, buy this pine cedar wood one. They have candles, wax melts, and they also have, uh, what are these called, Sam? It's like oil that you put in diffusers. They also, of course, have fall and Halloween scented candles. Right outside the candle shop that's supposed to be opening this year as well is Summer House on the Lake. It's definitely going to cause a huge bottleneck in this area. It already is, actually. So now it's time to head back over to the landing so we finally are ready to get into Gideon's. So when we signed up for the Gideon's queue, they said six hours. When they texted us, it was 300 minutes, which we counted. That's five hours. Yeah, so we actually were at home when they called us. It is usually about an hour closer than the actual time that they text you. I thought the Frankenstein was for last week, but it's on this one. I think they have that all of October. And oh, then there's okay. there's ones that are weekly that you like have to look on their social media to find out what they are. Oh, okay. Sam actually just saw on their website a peanut butter apple galette, which is like almost like a pastry that they're making. Let's see if they still have one. Yeah, I hope they still have that it one. Is late in the I definitely want to get the Frankenstein cookie. All right, so they were out of the peanut butter uh, apple galette. They were out of the weekly cookie, which is a black cat cookie, but they had the monthly cookie, which is the Frankenstein cookie. And we also got the Bride of Frankenstein cookie. So this one has dark chocolate, double stuffed Oreos, and M&Ms. Um, I think they're stuffed in the center. Look how messy this is, Sam. Yeah, that is. Let's see how the center looks. I didn't expect it to be brown. All right, let's take a bite out of it. I thought I was gonna see more like more cream and stuff. All right, let's see how it looks. Or how it tastes, I should say. I think I like this more than the normal. What? Because I like the center a lot. I feel like the normal cookie has so many chips. We get a lot of like center, although I don't think we got a lot of Oreo. I mean, I see the Oreo dust, the M&Ms. I don't see like Oreos in the I center. I see of some. Oh, okay. They're there. Frankenstein. Frank. Gooey. Hmm. I like this a lot. Well, I mean, it's been like a. <laughs> and this is like their birthday month. It's their busiest month, which is why it's six hour waits and stuff. Hopefully by Christmas it dies down a bit. I doubt it. I feel like Christmas it gets even crazier here. Yeah. Dude's hand out cookies, Bibles in every hotel room. The, the cookie <laughs> is delicious. I, I'm going to give this cookie a nine. Uh, I prefer this actually over their standard one. I do like the standard one, but I like this little center stuff. 
right there. And I always wish I could have more of that. And I got this here and I got that with big M&Ms and just a light hint of that crumbly Oreo flavor. I think it's very good. All right, so this is its partner, the Bride of Frankenstein cookie. So this one has... Uh, it's golden Oreos. Yes, yeah, white chocolate, golden Oreos, and M&Ms. So let's see if we could see any of those golden Oreos. Oh, you have to see the white chocolate in the center. I wonder if I wonder if I might. I, I, I I'm not as big of a fan of white chocolate as I am chocolate. I even like dark chocolate the best, but I do like. I, there's a lot of center. I'm not a fan of golden Oreos. Very vanilla, big white chocolate flavor. I almost feel like there should be macadamia nuts in it. I feel like white chocolate macadamia nut cookies mix well together. For me, for this cookie, the white chocolate with the M&Ms are contrasting flavors because the M&M milk chocolate has such a different flavor than the white chocolate. I definitely like the other one more, but I also am a fan of the more like bitter flavors with my sweetness. Right, Sam? Right. Yeah. Um, I would. I still like this though. I like the normal cookie better. I like the other one better. I'm gonna give this one a seven. It's a high quality cookie, just not my flavor profile. So, I mean, look at it. It's very pretty, very good. So they also have a coffee for the month, which of course Sam had to try. This is a French toast nitro cold brew. And I, I got no ice and I told myself that I was gonna like have a sip for the video and try it and then have it for the morning tomorrow. But I've already drank a quarter of it and I <laughs> guarantee by the time I leave Disney Springs, there's not gonna be much left because it is so good. So all of their um, cold brews and coffees, they locally source their beans. They always use oat milk and they are all vegan, all the flavors. The peanut butter one is like our all time favorite. We really like it. Some people do think it's too sweet. Our friends, uh, Chad and Vanessa, took it to Adventure. They have a contrasting opinion. And I always think it's, it's good to get other opinions because everyone has a different flavor profile that they enjoy, you know? Yeah, and so, and like I said, they use oat milk and you can't like customize your coffee. Like it comes as is. But, and I'm not someone who normally likes oat milk, but for whatever reason, I always really enjoy these cold brews. You know what's great about it too, Sam? What? Agave straws. <laughs> so this has like real maple in it, and it has like a hint of cinnamon. I've had it before. It does taste like a French toast, like turned to a drink. It tastes like a French toast was a cold brew. Here it is. It's addicting. I'm gonna feel sorry in the morning when I don't have it. I didn't save it for myself and I finish it now, but um, I would give this an eight. Yeah, I think that's a, a definitely like good number of this. holiday sleeves for their cold brews. All right, so that does it for our food call, trying all brand new things here at Disney Springs. Two things for me, Sam, stick out in my mind is the my favorite items that I had today, and I'm sure you know what they are. The Wellington. The Wellington burger is great. I have, I'm gonna go back and get it. Like, yeah, I'm trying on like a weekday and just have it on my own, you know? I like, with you. you were so hyped for that. I was like, all right. And I'm like, <laughs> I'm, I'm also hyped for it now, knowing yeah. how good it was. And uh, for me, I, I really enjoyed, I know you didn't have it because you were a bit full after that big crawl that we had, but the Frankenstein cookie to me was so good. Had the right amount of center with the chips around it. Um, I, I, I do think that the uh, cookie crumbles with the Oreo on top added uh, like a good, like, you know, Oreo cookie flavor that <laughs> accentuated it, but didn't overpower the cookie itself. To me, that's something that if they bring it back every single year, which I'm sure they will, it's like their birthday or Halloween cookie. Um, that's something I'm be coming back for. So those are my two favorites. And for you, Sam, would it be like the coffee or, I mean, Probably, yeah, French toast no, coffee? the French toast cold brew and the Wellington. I thought the chicken sandwich was good, but I actually expected it to be better. Just yes. because like the chicken at homecoming is, is usually yes. more crispy. Mm -hmm. um, it could have used a crispier piece of chicken. I still think it was good though. I don't think we got the best my, batch of chicken. My Everglaze coffee, you even Trash. tried it. No, I would give that a four. I give that four. It's I had it off good. camera guys, I'm sorry. It yeah. just was lacking. I'm yeah. surprised because the other two that I had last week were so good. Um, I mean, I could have probably went back and said, hey, can you put more coconut syrup in this? Because it just really just tasted just like a plain coffee. But yeah, that was the weakest thing I think we had. Um, as far as food goes, the chicken sandwich, I, def I think, didn't perform as well as we thought it would. Still good, still, still great good. flavor profile, but I think there's better iterations of that chicken sandwich. And if you enjoyed the content, please like and subscribe. Liking will really help our channel grow. It pushes this video out into the stratosphere of the YouTube algorithm. Helps other people find the video subscribing. It also helps our channel grow. Hit the bell notification so that way you're notified every time the videos come out, which is when, Sam? Every Monday and Thursday at 12 p.m. Thanks so much for watching. Don't count the days. Don't make the days count. We will see you next time. That's all, folks. You know, we're getting dangerously close to Sam.
Christmas? Yes. We're putting up the tree next week. Yeah. We put up the tree like November 1st. Yeah. We, are, we are fans of last Christmas. Last year, Jason, I honestly think we put it up on Halloween. Like we were, <laughs> we were really crazy last year. Well, I mean, you start Halloween here in August. Yeah. So, and we're right next to Jock Lindsay's Hangar Bar, <gasps> which becomes Jock Lindsay's Holiday Bar. And they have some really great bites during the Christmas season. Yeah, I really enjoyed that last year. Yeah. Crawl was great. Uh, I, I, I'm sorry. This took a really long time to film. Yeah, well, we, we went I mean, home. We did take mid-day. a break, but yeah. it's. it's took a while yeah took also um i feel like i kind of abruptly ended it because like a family walked by and i didn't want to be awkward like <laughs> talking with the family like, I in think front of us we're always awkward yes this is true this is true but uh yeah i mean the gideon's cookies i think perform as they should that is definitely a halloween shop mm-hmm.